my chairs when they came At in. the Year 9 AGM, you, Lillian Bayliss in South London. Thank you. Head Gary Phillips is being held to account. No, because the staff here... The school's on the government's national challenge and must achieve at least 30% five A-star to C's with English and maths to avoid possible closure. So what's bothering the shareholders? Last April, we asked everybody in the school what did they want to do when they leave school, college, university? And this is your aspirations. As you can see in the middle, the number one was to go into business, that's 52. Something using IT, 51, doctor, 38, engineer, 38. It tells everybody who comes into the school what everybody in here wants to do with their life. Right, so we're going to start off by learning... Don't pick up your drums yet. ..by learning the three ways that you hit a djembe. The first one, or the main one, do you know what they're called, what, Isaac? The, the middle, this, yeah. the centre, centrepiece. You had it? Base. The base is the one in the middle, OK? Which you hit with the... Do not touch the drums just yet, please. Oh, with the palm oh. of your hand, yeah, in the middle of the drum. OK, like that. Now, the other one is called... A tone, the tone, and that's at the side of the drum, OK? At the side of the drum. When we first did this three years ago, we didn't quite realise how many people wanted to go into engineering, and so we got involved in the engineering diploma, and we're now one of the few schools to offer it in this part of London. We realised that a lot of people wanted to get involved in business, so we went out there and got the best new business teacher we could get with Ms Adebayo. She got 85% of her students and a double A to C last year. And so on. We're just going to be playing crotchets or do's, like you learned in MX Jazz. There are going to be four beats in the bar, and it's just going to be one, two, three, four. Join in when you're ready. Don't get faster, though. So last year, best ever sats, especially the number of people who went up two levels, and the people who went up from level three to level five were, in our book, students who achieved more than people who maybe went up from a six to a seven, because they went up two levels, and that's what you aim to do. We started project days, and the evaluation of most of them has been really positive. An opportunity to go on visits, an opportunity to do things properly, to see it through for the whole day. And I hope you've noticed now you've gone into year nine that the classes are smaller in English and maths, and that's because they're the most important subjects, I'm afraid to say, and that means we want to put all our resources into them. Right, now we're going to change to quavers. Now's the opportunity that you'll remember, and we have the mic here, um, if you've got a serious question, not a silly statement for comedy effect, if you'd like to... Uh, Mr Gladman, you seem closest and possibly the most agile of colleagues. To put your hand up for Mr Gladman, he'll bring it over. And I'm very happy to answer it. So, you know, some schools have... They're allowed to wear their own school bags, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why isn't that we're not allowed to wear, um, like, our own bags to come to school? and black trainers or something like that. Yeah. Because the head teacher won't lay. We agree, when we met parents a long time ago to agree the new uniform, what nearly all of the parents said to us was they wanted something simple which was the same for everyone. So there was no, oh, I want a Nike bag because my friend's got one routine, and no pressure on parents to get expensive trainers or expensive bags. You know the school bag, there's some, there's like, when you have it for long, yeah, there's some black things that, like, come out of it. Yeah. And so you, that makes you have to buy, like, a whole new bag. Yeah, just I know. We're not, we won't make, you know, you're not going to have these till for 100 years. But you can't keep changing, because you have to order them, buy them, and all the rest of it, yeah? Um, do you think that you would ever, like, um, propose to, like, change it so you could wear what you want, like, um another type of school bag or anything like that? No, for the reason I said that when we meet parents, most parents say they want it, everybody to be the same and simple. So why can't we have... We, hold on. So, they can't hear you, Stacey, because they're, they're talking about the bag and it's very exciting. Why do you have own clothes there? Oh, oh they have. Yeah. Yes. yes. Is it cos... Um, poor yeah, people? yeah, no, fine. <laughs> Three... <laughs> 324, colleagues, the Mufti question. 
every AGM we get the Mufti question. The reason we don't have Mufti is that when we've had it in the past, only about three quarters of the students turn up because the people who don't have super duper flashy clothes feel uncomfortable coming to school. And I think, and as, no, it's not their business. School is an inclusive place where everybody should feel comfortable to come to school. And a quarter of the people shouldn't get an education for a day because they don't come from wealthy families. That's just not fair, Stacey. School is just about everybody doing the best they can. drum roll at some point, but not just yet. We've done Michelle Jacks joined Lillian Bayliss as head of music three years ago. What's called Students weren't stuff. enjoying coming to music lessons, and when I came, I thought, you know, somehow I've got to try and turn this around. Don't talk and don't play. Despite being in her first teaching post, Michelle threw out many of her predecessor's ideas. He'd been teaching QCA schemes of work, so the schemes of work which the government has suggested that, <laughs> that he teach, um, which, you know, uh, met all the criteria of the national curriculum. However, the students didn't enjoy them because they were, in fact, very, very dry and didn't appeal to them very much at all. So then when you've got students that aren't engaged or not enjoying the lessons, then you're bound to have behavioural issues and um, stuff like that. So I introduced more sort of popular stuff. I tried to do lots more singing and more composition so they could make their own beats. I also got more teachers in to teach more instruments. So now we have trombone, trumpet, guitar, singing, drum lessons, violin, piano, jazz band, rock band, drumming club, string group, choir. It's three days before the Christmas break. No phones, no earphones, no but for Year 11 papers, and Head of English Ian no Sankey, it's the GCSE English Mock. It's up to you today to show off what you can do in terms of your English skills, OK? And you really must try your best in order to guarantee doing the higher paper. Remember points, evidence, explanation. If you follow that pattern, you can't go wrong. OK, good luck, everybody. Now, uh, I really would like to try and go through all the year groups today. 70% of pupils receive free school meals, okay, eligibility well, for which is an income level of £16,000 a year. Yeah, we'll just make it the pastoral team meets regularly to discuss students who are causing concern. Grace, would you like to, to start? At the moment, he's, he's causing a lot of problems and um, being rude to teachers. He has got a timeout card, which he's not using appropriately. Mm -hmm. He's using it to, to get out for the wrong reasons. Right. He's looking very untidy, and he's mm -hmm. being really abusive to members of staff. So, do you want to give us a quick sort of rundown on the support that he has from the SEN department? Well, he has uh, TA support, speech and language literacy, okay, so pastoral. Literacy, he does need a real specific though, because he shouldn't be where he's at. So I'm timetabled one to one to take him for literacy. He's from got now a specific on. learning difficulty. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Average and above average intelligence, and yet the reading's not happening. So I'm going to, I would like to work with him. Mm. Mm. If you can string a sentence together and you're grammatically accurate and you can spell and you can punctuate reasonably well, which if you speak standard English in the home you're likely to be able to do, then I would say most children in that position won't, wouldn't have a problem getting GCSE English. The children here don't speak standard English in the home. Even the children who speak English as a first language don't speak standard English. They speak a form of English which isn't recognised by the exam boards as being worthy of a high grade. So if they were to write in the way they speak at home, they would obviously be marked down. And so they have to learn another language, if you like. So it's, it's very difficult for some of our children because when it comes to actually converting that spoken English into written English, that's something that takes years and years and years of practice. 
there's a major concern as well at the moment. Um, he's got a home visit from Kids Company tomorrow. He's been allocated a family support worker <coughs> and he's also got Tier 2 CAM support. Yeah. Um, and he's also got a... TAC meeting. Because one of the big concerns is that when he's out and about uh, in the community, he gets himself into a lot of yeah. trouble. And the reason, reason why the housing office is there is there's concerns that mm. it might <coughs> lead to uh, an eviction. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a very you know, serious situation for him. Uh, outside of school, within school, he comes across as being very angry. It's usually yeah. when you tell him off, yeah. he then reacts in an angry way or yeah. just walks off. Yeah. And it takes a while for him to calm down. Mm. So we've instigated a timeout time card. Yeah. So yeah. if he's in that situation, then he uses it and he comes down to Hillary. He's only got one. Mm. And we're, the mm. idea is that we give him perhaps two for the week. Actually, he's, he's been, been doing really he's well. He's been doing really he's well. He's been on report as well. Mm. And um, he's been. Getting yeah. excellent. He has. He was yeah. quite pleased with his he's report, really wasn't good. he? Yeah, very pleased. Yeah. But he's got an FSW as well, family support yeah. worker. So I mean, I'm quite pleased with the way things of yeah. multi-agency work has kind of pulled yeah. him together. Really, although you know, it remains to be seen whether he responds to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think he's getting appropriate support at the moment. Mm -hmm. First position of the arms is just where your belly button is. Yeah. Second position, you open it up from there. Yeah. No. Bra bar is here. <laughs> yeah? Is it called? Cool? Bra bar. Bra bar. Okay, so the idea is we're going to do two demis, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bend, two, three, four, stretch, two, three, four. Bend, two, three, four, stretch, two, three, four. It'll be about 10 minutes, then it'll be down, and then it'll be a wave. <laughs> Good afternoon. The school building is now closing. It's closing to all after-school clubs, and will reopen on Tuesday, the 6th of January at 8.30. Merry Christmas. Girls, log off and leave, please. Log off and leave. Wrong way, girls. Wrong way. Wrong way. Let's go, please. Out of reception. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Once the pupils are off-site, there's an unexpected festive bonus. OK, if I could have your attention for the absolute final time this year. Um, we got some very good news today, which was we got the rankings on uh, the, uh, the Ofsted stuff, uh, Panda data thing, and uh, three lots of people I'd just like to mention um, because they've done so well. Um, English nationally on the percentiles, which goes 1% uh, is the top and 100 is the bottom. Uh, for Quiche Sage, two to four progress. English was on the fourth percentile. Which, that's pretty amazing. Um, maths for the second year running got in the top 10% nationally, which is pretty amazing as well. That means 96% of schools got worse progress. Um, oh, where's the camera? That means 96% of schools got worse progress.